everyone, welcome to the channel again. Yesterday I posted a video about redesigning High Guardian Spice characters, but for some reason it's not really working, like, uh, if reasons, for no reason, so, uh, I apologize if it's from my side, because I honestly don't know what's going on, so I decided to, like, post another video to compensate for the damage I caused with that one. And, uh, since, uh, like, uh, the exams are over and now I have more free time to actually do stuff, I haven't really been talking about, like, my plans lately because, uh, the exams, life in general, I just go real busy and, uh, I haven't really had time and uh, a lot of stuff happened, so, one of the stuff that actually happened was that I revisited a little bit of some old yokai watch vids I used to watch when I was a young girl. I was like nine when I first watched it and I'm gonna turn 15 soon so it's been a very long time until I uh, found out about like the yokai watch manga finishing and I was like wow that's nice it's because uh, I know I don't I, I don't read the manga because I didn't know there was even a manga till like recently but I couldn't read it online so I had no other choice but to just ignore it and be like yeah there's a manga right and they made me re recheck the other series like the new one from 2022 because I quit watching it because it got boring so I apparently finished that May 2023, like uh, a month after my birthday, and I watched the few last episodes, and I was just like, wow! Wow, what did I miss? I don't really have the time to watch all of it from like, from the beginning, because I think I stopped watching it at like, past episode 20, because I thought it got boring. I just realized I started to include the characters like that, such as, uh, and Manzazo way later on and more often recently. Cause uh I don't know, just uh these two never really appeared that much, even right after the movie, honestly. I didn't really expect to see them but like debut that much. Um, possibly you'll think that would be the best decision ever, but now nah, I'm just tired, so I'm not I'm kinda dead lately, so I don't really have a problem with it either way. I was curiously searching for Agent X or Ingenino from uh, Your Coach 3 because I wanted to draw him and wanted the reference. So uh, I looked him up to find out that he was in the last three episodes of the series. And I was just like, what the hell? I was so happy. Honestly, because uh, I have a f I have this vendetta that basically the games are put the, the games are much more better than the anime recently. Not Shadow Side and Yokai Watch that Jam and like the series from like 2019. It's just I don't know. I just felt like the hype, like the the games were built different. I was more engaged in the lore more than in the anime series because I feel like it got killed off like right after they revamped they restarted the series in 2022 after finishing my academy because uh, I don't know about you but those games had lore a lot of lore so like it's not that I don't like watching the anime I like watching the anime it's just like I don't really get the same feeling as watching the new 2022 yokai watch series compared to uh what I was watching 2019 series because the figures I did of the 2019 series existed so and then I found that like the chaos that happened like at the end that I wanted context so that's why I binge watched it all until I got satisfied then I watched Yokai Watch Jam from all over again so I can get more context of what happened from there so that's what happened so but like in the games uh they're mostly aligned with the games, but then after Yokawa's jam happened, like, uh, stuff started to get really... Not out of context, like, it started to branch out into different stuff that the show wasn't really, like, the original didn't really do that much, so, like, that's what made it interesting. So, the fact that they ended it and they started this one, and I got bored later on, because I really missed your Y, y Academy, and I, I loved it so much. So... 
the after test of me watching the new series, like I was 20 episodes in and I got bored, so I stopped watching it, and I didn't touch the series till like 2020, till the like now. I looked up Agent X as I was I was dep I was ranting to someone about like why didn't they make the Yokai Watch Free plot like uh, like the game because that one was very interesting like. They did include some of it, I know, because I watched it, and, like, it was cool, but, like, it was, like, very small elements that were, like, concepts. It's just in the game, you will more explain, like, for example, when Nate goes to, like, the USA to, uh, like, uh, for the, the job transfer, he does that in the anime as well, but it's not for a job transfer, it's to look for the... The dude, the, the, the orca who uh, made the watches, I don't remember, but like, there's some similarities, but there is a difference, it's just, they both have the same cause, it's just one got expanded on more. The f I really like the antagonists of yo Watch 3 and 4 and uh, Y Academy. Honestly, if people were to ask me what's my favorite yoga, I would say Jabanyan and uh, and Ma, but like uh, most of the yoga I actually like are the antagonist. I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry. People people would actually murder me for saying this, but like I don't really like Komasa. I'm not saying he's a horrible yoga. He's 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 good. He's good. I like him. He's adorable. But like. I don't know, just to have some kind of feeling that he's sometimes kind of like naive, which kind of makes me feel kind of like it is cute, but like the stroke got repeated over and over and over again, so I kind of got bored, especially when I was watching the 2022 series, especially because it got like, I didn't really like him as much as I like Jabonion, okay? Like, I'm a Jabonion fan. But then Usopian kind of replaced. I kind of forgot about poor Usopian. I like that guy. <laughs> I really like Usopian, but it's just he doesn't really show. He after the after like everything oh, everything with the uh, Y Academy and Shadow, so like Inaho and Usopian, those crew just got like uh, thrown into the garbage bin, and I'm sad about that because I really like those two. Uh, there's something different about. Heilian or Inaho and the Usopian being a duo than uh, the OG Nate and Whisper and Jabonia. I don't mind the OG, but it's just something interesting with like Inaho and the uh, Usopian is that Usopian is like the Whisper like of this duo, but like the thing is he's more original. Like Whisper kind of wants to like say that he knows everything, what Usopian. Usopian, I'm not saying he doesn't know anything, like, he's actually smart than he perceive. like, people who think he's an idiot, like, he's actually pretty smart, and he does his job correctly, like, I don't really remember if he was qualified to be a butler or something, like, like he, he, he was in the role of Whisper, because the thing is, the way how, uh, Inaho managed to find Usopian was that she bought the the yokai medal from the shop so like it wasn't really like uh exceptionally like usopian's moment to be her yokai companion like whisper and the thing i really like about usopian is like he's more of a useful companion than whisper because unlike whisper like the anime version not the game version, like whisper can't really defend himself or fight because Spoilers, but Usopian has decent like he's a rank B yokai, so He's stronger than Jabonion Although the two are like they're from They're they're similar but like one stronger like this guy can actually like he could defend himself if he wanted to and like That's what makes him unique of it, but also the figures make him unique is that basically Inaho is always a troublemaker and Usopian is the one trying to Stop this family from tearing apart, which is a very interesting dynamic So it's more enjoyable for for me to watch them than the original Although I do like the original gang, especially with Jabonion being so sassy <laughs> It's so funny 
Oh, I'm that like uh, I really I sh- I reviewed some of the series like the episodes of uh, 97 and 98, and I was kind of surprised that they put Agent X into the anime because I thought he was a game only material. I feel like they should have done that earlier. He looks good in the anime, to be honest. I kind of forgot he was from the series himself, honestly, because, uh, like, he's mostly in your car Watch 3. You don't really see him in, uh, like, uh, the anime episodes, if I'm not wrong, because I stopped watching from 20, and I, they added the, the series in total has, like, 98 episodes, so I might have skipped, like, I might not know. But, like... Agent X and the Ghoul Father, those were the most interesting protagonists I ever seen. And uh, like, I mean, not prota- antagonist, the interesting antagonists I ever seen. Like, I really like the how the plot was with the like how it was with the UFO and then Agent X was just a reoccurring enemy that like, you just don't know who the hell he is and why is he following you. You just know that this guy is dangerous. Like he's actually he poses more of a threat than like uh even let's just say the Onis like Gogoros and uh and uh, the the other I forgot their names but like he poses more of a threat and you just don't know why he's chasing you. He's just chasing you and he's trying to like murder you like why why are you doing this and it connected more easily with the ghoul father because honestly the two i i honestly had a feeling that those two knew each other but when i was younger but like the it was the the, this guy was like the best way to introduce the final boss of the series because like although we did know from like outside sources we knew like, we got more of an explanation, like, we got, how do I say this, we got more of a description from, uh, Agent X than, uh, like, everyone else, and then you just transition to the final boss, like, boom. I like, from your kind Watch 3 onwards, the antagonists were actually very good, especially with your kind Watch 4. And, uh, honestly, I was kind of disappointed, well, not disappointed, but, like, they kind of split the end the second movie like uh, the, I forgot the name of it. They split it into the Yokai Watch Three and Yokai Watch uh, Blasters, and it was a good thing. It w- it was cool, but like I really wanted to know what the other one would feel like in the. Three. I thought the that that movie would be better suited in Yokai Watch Three instead of you your Yokai Watch Blasters. But like it would have. Been, but what we got was actually pretty interesting. So. It was cool, it was cool. So, the episodes weren't actually that bad. Of all, I didn't really get any complex situation. It was pretty funny. <laughs> so, and, uh, I kind of really missed watching these episodes. <laughs> and the comedy is kind of fun. Like, I could get the show is usually comedic, because honestly, Shadow Side, after watching Shadow Side and Y Academy, I got, I got, it's, the serious, there's more of a serious tone in that one, which I actually like. Speaking of, uh, your coach in general, they, I looked it up recently, apparently they're gonna release a new game or something, I don't really know what name it is, like, it wasn't really in the, like, if there was any news about Yokai Watch, like, the people who, like, usually play would usually, like, send something about it, but they didn't, so I was like, okay, damn, so... This guy series is really dead actually, but no, I was actually kind of ro- wrong. The level five people are apparently think of translating the games, and it's probably gonna come out soon. And I better be alive to see it because uh, if it wasn't gonna come out in twenty like the the if the when did your car it came out in twenty nineteen if I remember if if it wasn't gonna come out twenty twenty because of the COVID stuff. I better come out when I'm probably when I'm not a, a working adult, cause uh, life be going fast. <sighs> it's very, it's kind of surprising that this series existed for ten years, and the fact that I was like, in 2013 I was literally a toddler, and now I discovered it. Like I didn't discover, it, I got introduced to a bit by my cousin, who had Yokai Watch Two, 
and he gave it to me to play and then he showed the, we were watching the anime like me and my cousins and my sister were watching the anime for some reason i didn't even think it was an anime i didn't think it was suited to be an anime because the game was so good honestly but like after i found out your car watch free existed i was like oh my god your car watch free existed but like the person who played it like didn't really expand that much in the game so i was like oh i'm not gonna see it ever again and then someone played the full game it was in japanese or well, it was in japanese like i still liked it i really it was so new and fresh of that honestly and uh i was very surprised like because i was speaking to my sibling about like what if yokai watch was in an advertisement of my youtube page like on my youtube video i would be so happy how old was i back then i think it was 2017 or 2018 uh i was like uh, nine years old and uh it came out i was so happy yet so shocked and happy like the, the feed the emotions caught just like i was so happy then i i didn't know yokai watch 3 was actually gonna come out because uh I just knew your Watch Blast was gonna come out. Then your Watch 3 came out like right after that. And I was like, oh my god, my dreams come true. Oh wow, I'm so happy. Like, it was, it was a, that year was like the best for me. It was my, it was, I was turning 10 years old. My two favorite games released. Then another one was gonna be released the next year. It was a good year. Like, that was the best year. I missed it so much. Like, rip, like, Yokai Watch 3 is now so expensive to get because it's now all the relic and it's such a good game. Honestly, it's worth the price, but, like, the fact that, like, the series failed or, like, it died because, like, of uh, the COVID and the other stuff, which is kind of sad. Like, I was disappointed, but, like, I didn't watch Yokai Watch 4 till two years, like, no, I didn't watch Yoka Watch 4 till one year later, so I didn't really experience some of the sadness because I had to, I would have to consume the stuff in Yoka Watch 4, and I was honestly appalled. Like that game is such a masterpiece. I didn't really like the concept at first because I was like, who are all these new characters? But like, it looked the game looked beautiful, and like the story was just so cool. I didn't really know Shadow Side existed when I was younger. I just knew it was some random series. And I didn't even think it was related to Yokai Watch. And then when I found the game, like people were saying like you need to watch Shadow Side to understand the full context of it. I watched it. Then I rewatched the game. And uh it was very good. My favorite characters in that game were either like Toma and Natsume or the Sata. I don't know. I'm more of the futuristic gang <laughs> because they look cool, and uh, Akinori and uh, everyone else. They you know, they, they the game was just stunning. The thing that I liked about Yokai Watch was that basically th there was more stakes in the situation, like in in the the scenarios that they were facing. Like I felt like there was more of a threat with the Yokai attacks because timelines were clashing and stuff from the future were coming from the were coming to the present the present were going to the future then the future and the pre the present is going to the the present is going to the past it's just it was so cool like especially since like the time traveling mechanic was introduced in yokai watch 2 and they just got involved so much in yokai watch 4 that like, it was just so like it was very very original with why Academy was taken to a whole new level, I didn't really like it at first because the thing is I didn't really understand the I didn't really understand the context to why Academy because like why are they why is there like, these weird looking people like why are they here what is the what's the difference like where is Nia and everyone else uh where I realized the context of like how the new stuff were it's just it was very good like I wasn't really in just the genre like of why academy till recent like till recently i am so there was it was such a new approach to the series like i swear every week when that new episode came out everyone was so hyped but the thing is i i came so late i came at like the end like in episode 50 when they released episode 50 i had to, i had to re-watch from the beginning 
I thankfully the season one didn't end back then, so I I managed to see it I, until watching episode like until season two. But then watch season two, I was with every like I was I didn't miss anything with that. I was ev with everyone. I was so hyped. I loved it so much. Like twenty twenty one at the beginning was so good, but then why well, Academy had the end, and I'm depressed about it. Although it's been like three years since it like stopped, but like it's such a good series. Like I, I, I can't. It's it's had such a place in my heart that it will never, it will never be replaced. There like, because it was so good, and I was kind of disappointed. Like I was into the new the, the new one, like the twenty twenty two version of Your College, but like I got bored because I liked. I liked Y Academy and it kept it was so interesting and like there wasn't really anything new about your Kai the, the, the New York I watch series like I don't know just it kind of got boring to me and I just stopped watching it and then I found out at the very end it ended with a bang and I was just like wow that is so cool but like I don't really feel like I missed anything I just feel satisfied that like I got updated with everything and I don't really have to watch from episode 20 and beyond to 97 because honestly I don't really have time and it's so hard to find the episodes these days because honestly the people just gave up with uh, finding new episodes I just realized but the part there was worse one plus you keep on finding like more episodes of these of, uh, of this uh, show and like they kind of stopped and then they got into other stuff so it got boring that's why anyway that's uh, my rant about like your coach uh life has been going on pretty fine i had a lot of stuff going on in school it was actually really fun we had a trip we went to go it was so fun and uh, I did actually, some of my friends do actually know what Yoko watches and I was so happy. And uh, the thing is, I was ranting about how I don't like, how I don't like Zazzle. He's not my favourite character, I hate him. If you watch the movie, you know why I hate him, I still don't. He's polluting the screen every time he's there. Call me a person who holds grudges, but I don't like him at all. I showed my friend, one of my friends, a picture of Suranaki, the antagonist, final boss of Yoko Watch 4, and she basically said, if I can remember, that's a giant eyeball that's wielding the steer of Gothra. And I, was, and I laughed so hard, like I was, <laughs> I was on the floor, and she was like, "You really think it's? Is it actually the speed like a, a giant eyeball who wheels the speed of golf raw?" And I was laughing at her, like that's exactly what Suranaki is like. And, and then like, what is this dude about? I told them, and they were so they were like, "Oh, that's actually pretty interesting." Like, it was so fun. It's so fun to talk about my old tra my old memories to several people. But I just realized that if I have more fans for Yokai Watch and other stuff I like than my age now, but when I was younger, when I was young I actually got bullied for not like for liking for liking certain stuff, so uh, it was not it was uh, very nice. Anyway, I just said enough of watching and talking about Yokai Watch, but this is actually it. I'm not talking about it right now. Uh, so, uh, updates on the channel. It's just the thing is I have been making stuff behind the scenes a lot. Like, if you're on my Discord, uh, you would know what I'm making, although the server is pretty dead right now because honestly, I had exams. I literally didn't have time to literally hold a pen and turn on my laptop and draw something. So, like, my comic has been... Uh, on a hiatus for a little while, like, the hiatus was, like, a, a few weeks, actually not a few weeks, it was a few, two months, because the exams, were, I studied for the exams, like, two months prior, and I wanted, really wanted to pass, just because, uh, I didn't want to change my classes, like, because I really liked them, and the only class I wanted to change was my science class.
else because I don't like it. So I wanted to uh, like get over, like get out of that hellhole and go somewhere else that's better. So I tried really hard and I finished all of the exams and there, there, the results are coming like after a few weeks. So now that I finished it, I haven't really been feeling well about it because I, I felt burnt out because of the studying. And I also felt burnt out because uh, my channel hasn't been doing well and I haven't really got attention in my art lately and it's just making me feel down so I didn't publicize anything for a while because I thought it wouldn't literally get any attention so what's the point of me posting stuff and they won't get any attention and I don't feel motivated to do anything so what's the point of me just posting and recording random videos if it's not gonna get anything so that's why I haven't really been publicizing anything lately. I have been showing sneak peeks and uploads of some art and uh, some pages that I did manage to do while doing those cram sessions. It was okay. Now uh, I'm starting to slowly get more to finish my comic. Uh, like these pages right here. Uh, I didn't touch them for like three, how many months? Because I prepped them. And I was like, after my exam, I have something to do, and like, I don't forget what the next the next thing is gonna be. So, this chapter is almost finished. Like, not almost is an understatement. Like, I only have a few pages left. Like, I just yeah, I just need to conclude it. I just need to show the last few event, like the last interaction between the characters, and then everything else is done. Then I can just shade everything. And I think since I'm just gonna be shading stuff, and if I wanted to put, I wanted to make more content, I will just like record myself shading, or just use my camera to film stuff. Anyway, so nothing really interesting has been happening besides the fact that I've been really busy. I wanna try and get more lately like more stuff out on youtube because i already lost more than like i just lost 10 subscribers i would really need to gain that back but since i've finished like everything that's extremely important in my life uh i can uh do more stuff and uh maybe just talk and draw or just do anything in general that's would be interesting to you guys and also uh if you guys are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe and turn on the notifications and if you share to everyone else so uh, like, i can not feel burnt out because honestly this burnout has been really affecting me lately and i actually just don't know what to draw i don't know what to record i don't really have any good decent ideas lately so please do some of that and uh, if you guys want to chat or do anything interesting just uh join the discord server it's in the description and in my channel like uh, my community posts i don't really have anything else to talk about besides the fact that these pages were literally looked so atrocious when i was drawing because uh, i drew i drew this in uh, january or february and i never touched it for a very long time like i only looked through it and i just like nah i'm not I'm, i don't want to see this and i haven't really had time to actually draw it now when i looked at it, it just looked so bad this is why like i draw my pages very fast just because the thing is if i look there's this thing where like if you look at, at your very old sketch you're gonna see the flaws in it so to prevent me from seeing any flaws of it i just start uh, sketching me i finish it immediately but like since the fact of these exams happening, like I have to focus on my studies more than my art, so I mostly focused on like finishing the 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 big the big event that happened in this chapter. So I wasn't able to shade them. So I literally just shaded the begin the mid the middle of it. But other than that, this chapter was very drawn very successfully and uh, since I had an, a long break well not really a break but i didn't really update my comic that much after my when my exams were starting so i'm not really sure about having the hiatus on chapter 5 or anything because i feel like i didn't really do 
that much that I just want to like at least reach like uh, five, five or more chapters later on and I want to update my webtoon and other than that like I have a lot of stuff to do so I didn't really have the time that much so that's everything I wanted to ramble about thank you for good guys for watching and uh, see you in the next video also if you have any suggestions for anything just comment down in the comment section because I honestly don't know what to do on my videos anymore see ya Bye.